Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Freddy. Welcome. Welcome back to your class. I've been today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great, let's wait for your classmates. How was your day? My day, how was it? It was great, yeah. you know? Kind of busy, right? It was a little bit busy today, but it was better than yesterday. I may say it was better. Okay, there we go. Let's have Jocelyn. She's in the class already. <laughs> Great. You're just on time today. Okay. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's say hi, good evening, Fernando. Welcome, Andres Giovanni, David, Madeline, and Genesis. Hi, guys. How good is evening, it going? Teacher. Good evening. So How was your day? Hi. How was your day? You're good. Yes. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. There we go. William, she he's coming right now. So let me show you what the topic for today is. But first, let me ask you, what is today's date? What day is it today? Today is? Mm -hmm. Today is July 14th. Okay. There we go. And what class is this one? This is class, class number? Number eight. Number eight, that's right. Class number eight. What was the topic from yesterday's class? Do you remember about the topic from yesterday? If not, let me refresh your mind. We were talking about expressions. What type of expressions? Here phrases. Mm -hmm. The other phrases or expressions. And we were having this, this practice. Look, I don't know what's going on with my computer today. We were discussing about career choices, general phrases as subjects, and as objects, acting as objects, right? 
the definition, if you want to have a definition about the topic, this is the one that we were presenting yesterday, right? And as you may remember, what this was like the main exercise with the one that we were practicing. We were giving opinion about this different type of jobs, right? We were choosing information to um, express opinion, right? So this was the topic from yesterday. And for today's class, we are going to have a different topic, an easy one, very easy topic. Take a look at the topic for today. Class number eight. Okay. What is this topic about? Commas to set off a positive. And we're going to discuss about punctuation rules. This is the main topic for today. We are going to be practicing using commas to set off a positive, right? So if you want to take notes about the topic that we are going to have in class number eight, this is the one that we are going to have, right? Yesterday, because we didn't have enough time, we didn't finish with an activity. So before we continue with that activity, let's see what I have for today. I want you to practice. I wanna listen to everyone saying this tongue twister, okay? Because I do not remember when was it, when was the last time that we have a tongue twister. So this is the second one. And in this class, we're going to practice saying this tongue twister. Take a look at this one. This is an easy one. So the pronunciation that we're going to be practicing is this one, one and two numbers. It's a very easy one. So here we go. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. So let me ask you, who is one one and who is two two? Who are they? Any well, idea? They race horses. Uh -huh. They're horses. The horses, right? So one one and the pass of this bird. What is the pass of this? Well, not the pass, right? Which is the this bird? The one that we're going to have today is this one. To so make comparison with the pronunciation. Look, one. Mm -hmm. And this other expression, two, right? So we have these horses in a competition, in a race horse, okay? Let me have a volunteer. So this volunteer is going to say, the tongue twister the first time, slow. So you can practice pronunciation. And the second time, faster. Right? And after that, this first volunteer is going to pick another volunteer so we can have everybody participating with this activity today. Right, so let me ask you, do I have volunteers? Me Remember, teacher. okay, David, thank you. I really need you to participate, okay? Because I don't want to force you to participate. Everyone, everybody's going to participate today, but that's why I'm always asking, you know? So in the case that you want to participate as David, you know, just tell me, teacher, I want to, I want to try, okay? So here we go, David, you're the first one. Go ahead, please. The first time, slow, and the second time, faster. Here we go. I seen the two times was a slow to see, but wait, <laughs> the first time. Okay, go ahead. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. Okay, faster. 
Let me try. No, one one was a red. Okay. <laughs> one one was a red horse. Two two was one two. One one won one race. Two two won one two. There we go. In class, what are we going to be expressing? I'm going to ask you if this was an excellent participation, a good one, very good, very short opinion, or if you want him to say that again, but faster, okay? I really want to listen to you, right? So let me ask you about David's participation. How was it? Was it good? Was this an excellent participation? Do you want him to say that again in a faster way? Let me listen to you. It was very good. Okay, very good. So David, Genesis lo salvó. Thank you, Genesis. So, <laughs> David, <laughs> si ustedes me dicen, no, let's have him say that again. Yo le voy a hacer caso, okay? Because you are the judge for this class. Vamos a ver, David, ¿quién sigue? Who's the next one? Genesis. Okay. <laughs> hey. Thank you, right? <laughs> okay. Go ahead, please, Genesis. Okay. Um, one one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. Okay. Now faster. Yeah. Okay. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. Class, how was it? Excellent teacher. Excellent. Oh, excellent. So David, great comment. <laughs> Hennessy. Who's going to participate? Um, Doris. Doris. Hi, Doris. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. Are you ready to participate? Uh, I tried. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. One one was a race horse. Two two was a one two. One one won one race. Two two won one two. Now faster. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One one won one race. Two two won one two. There <laughs> we go, class. How was it? <laughs> It was great. Oh, it was great. Thank you, Hennessy. It, it was great. So pick one of your classmates, please. Who is going to participate? Uh, vamos a ver. <laughs> Who is the next volunteer or big team? Big team. Uh, <laughs> big team, she says. Um, uh, William. William. Where's William? Let me look for him. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, one one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Right, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> two, two, one one two. There we go. <laughs> Second time faster. Uh, one one was a race horse. Two two was a one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. Uh. <laughs> Class, <laughs> what is your opinion? Excellent, nice. great, practice. nice, perfect. Repeat that again, no? Yes, let me listen to you. I think it was nice teacher. Okay, se salvo, there we go. William, pick one of your class so he or she can participate. Fernando. Fernando. Are you ready? I knew it. Okay. Go, please. Uh, one one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One one won a one race. Two two won a one two. Second time, faster. Okay. Uh, one one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One one won a one race. Two two won a one two. Uh -huh. Was this an excellent participation? It was great. Yeah. Repeat again. Oh, repeat again. Yeah. Fernando, go ahead, please. Repeat again. Repeat that again, please. Okay. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One one won a wrong one race. <laughs> okay. Two two won a one two. 
Ok, Chuchu won't want to. There we go. Es que se mezcla algo, no sé. No lo que entiendo yeah. que es. Right? Ah, ah wanna, ok. The article. Ah, ok. One, mm -hmm. one, one, yes, one. There are the article. Hey. Ah, ajá. Vamos oh, a ver. Yeah. Ajá, right. And we do not have that one in this pronunciation. But don't worry, Fernando. Go ahead and pick one of your classmates. Ok. Let me check. Eh, Francisco, is oh, he there? Let me see. Francisco is in the. I corner. believe that yes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I tried. <clears throat> one okay. one was <clears throat> sorry. One one was a right horse. Two two was was one two. One 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 right. Two two one one two. Okay, second time, faster. Uh, <clears throat> one one was a right horse, two two was one two, one one want one twice, two two want one two. Class, what is your opinion about, about it? Was this excellent, great, good? Repeat that again. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, se salvó. Francisco, who's next? Uh, Janari. Janari. Go ahead, uh -huh. please. <laughs> I will try. Mm. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, 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 two. Okay. Second time. <clears throat> I don't think so. <laughs> I know you can do it. Go. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. You see, you did it. <laughs> you did it. So, what is your opinion, class? Excellent, Janari. Excellent, Janari. You see. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> you did it great. Janari, who's next? Let's see. I think Marilyn. Marilyn, let me see. Marilyn. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, she's there. She's in the castle. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, how are you? Are you ready? I'm fine. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, please. One was one one was a race horse. Two two was one two one 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 race. Two two one one two. Okay, second time. <laughs> Try to say it faster. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two one 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 race. Two two one one and uh, one two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let me listen to you, class. Repeat again. <laughs> okay. That's great. La, la primera opinión cuenta. Repeat that again. No okay. te quiero decir. Go ahead. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So pick one of your classmates, please. Who is missing? Um, Let me help you. Okay. Take a look at the classmates. Jarby. Okay. Okay, hello, everyone. Hello. Are you ready? No, but I will try. <laughs> okay, he's on. Go ahead, <laughs> I know you can do it. Okay. One one was a racehorse, two two was one two, one 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 uh, one race, two two one one two. Ah, it's difficult to me, but I will try to go faster. Okay, go. Okay. One 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 was a race horse, two two was one two, one 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 race, two two one one two. Great class. What can you say about his participation? It was great. It was great. Great. Okay, it was great. Armin, please pick one of your classmates. Who is who is still missing? Look. Like 
Kenya or Freddy's? Okay, Kenya, yeah, right. Freddy's. Who else? Andres. Jocelyn. So keep that on mind, please. We are just missing these guys so they can participate. So who's the next one? Kenya, right? Okay. okay. One one was a race horse, two two was one two, one 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 race, two two one one two. Second time. Faster, please. <laughs> Okay. One one was a race horse, two two was one two, one 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 one. I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> one one was a race horse, two two was one two, one 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 race, two two one one two. Class. <laughs> Let me listen to you. Great, excellent. That's great. That's great, teacher. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Qué buenos compañeros son. There we go. Kenya, pick one of your classmates. We are still missing. I'll go. Okay. <laughs> great. <laughs> so, go ahead, please. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. Okay. Say that again, please. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. Okay, class. Excellent teacher. Excellent. It was excellent, Freddy. Excellent job, Freddy. Who is missing? Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Okay, I will try. Okay, one one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. Okay, second time, please. Okay, one one was a race horse, two two was one two. One 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 race, two two one one two. There we go, class. What is your opinion? Excellent. Excellent, of course. Yes, right, there we go. Outstanding, there we go. So pick, who is the last one? I guess we're just missing. Let me see if I have new classmates. Andres? No, Andres. Andres and, yes, Andres. Oh, and Telma. Hi, Telma. Just on time. Okay, Andres, go ahead, please. <laughs> okay. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. There we go. Second time, please. One one was a race horse, two two was one two, one 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 race, two two one one two. Wow, class. Good evening, teacher, excuse me. <laughs> it was excellent, right? Wow, great job, Andres. Hi, Thelma. <laughs> Hi, good evening, teacher, excuse me. No, do not worry. Okay, so you know, Thelma, as the first activity, we are... <laughs> We have this tongue twister and as you are already in the class, it is your time so you can participate. <laughs> so go ahead and try. Yes, right. Uh, one one was a race heart. Two two was one two, one 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 race, two two one one two. Okay, so. Okay. No. Try to say that again in a faster way. Oh, well, I'll try. One one was a break. Two two was. Okay. Two two was one two. One 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 rice. Race. Two two one one two. Okay, okay. There we go. So, solo okay. porque acaba de venir. Do not worry. You did a great job. So, what is the purpose of this type of activity class? ¿Qué piensan? Why do we do this type of activities? Mm -hmm. To help in your pronunciation. Okay, to improve pronunciation and to participate. 
participate as well. So do not be afraid, you know, and this is a challenge, okay? As you may see in today's class, I was just asking you to read the first time, you know, slow, so you could practice the pronunciation and the second time a little bit faster. But I'm going to have other type of activities like this one, of course, so you can practice your pronunciation, right? So you did a great job class. You know, this is an intermediate one because I have so many tongue twisters. I have from the basic level up to the advanced one. So let me ask you, would you like to have an advanced one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to bring that tomorrow. Jaron phrases. Let's see, you know, as I was mentioning, ah, but before, let me check the attendance. Jueves 14, ¿qué vamos? For thing. Andres Giovanni, Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Here we go. No, wait, 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 just give me a second. He's not letting me. Okay. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Moral. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Vladimir teacher. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Jarmín Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velasco. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Thelma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Present. Bien, class. Just as a reminder, because let me see. Diego, he's not in this class and he was not here yesterday as well. So remember, if you have something going on, a situation, but if you, you cannot be like actively participating in the class, just let me know. But remember attendance, it's very important, right? So in the case that you are not able to join this class, just let me know, okay? Recuerden, el 80% de la asistencia es necesaria at the end. Que representa, creería, I guess, only two classes, right? Porque tenemos dos horas seguidas. So please, tengamos cuidado con la asistencia. So we won't be uh, affected by that situation at the end of this course. Great. So let's go to practice. Yesterday, we didn't have the time to work in your student's book. So the first activity that we're going to have today it's a group work. I need you to go over page 17, exercise number five, and with the help of your classmates, 
you are going to complete the exercises that we have there. Let me show you what is this activity about. Page number 17. Page number 17. This is the one. So as you may see, I need you to go over all of these examples and explanation. So you can remember about the meaning or the expressions that we have followed by gerunds. So have one of your classmates reading this information. And after that, please, I need you to complete these sentences with the correct form of the verbs in the box. Here we have the verbs that you are going to be using for this activity. Is it clear what we are going to do in this time, in this moment? Yes? No? I yes. guess. I yes. Guess. I guess. If not, I'm going to repeat those instructions again. So let's work in groups of three. Ah, and David, David, do you have two devices in this class? Yes, right, teacher. you do. Vámonos con room number two. David. Two devices is about easy. Ah, David, Javin. Ok, aquí vamos, chicos. Let's go. Okay, I'm just missing Kenya. Did you get the invitation, Kenya, to join room number four? Okay, I guess you didn't. So let me do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mark. Yes, I have, but if Madeline. Oh, uh, but I, I understood that, that I she has it, right? Uh -huh. uh, you have it, right, Madeline? Yes. Oh, okay. Guys, I, I think we'll have it. Oh, but yeah, sure. So I think the first one could be surfing. Surfing, yeah. Yeah. It can be sightseeing too, I guess. Doing some. But Mark and Jan go. The first one surfing. Yeah. Surfing. Yeah, surfing. Okay. During summer vacations. Okay, Mark okay. and Jan go surfing during a vacation. The second working one. so in the second one some of the co-worker have difficult working under pressure yeah working working okay
What do you think the the number three number three sorry uh playing? We had a oh, yeah. Okay. The bird the bird go this is the bird go what is the structure here? Go plus bird with A and G go. Mm -hmm. Use the grammar structure go plus bear with ing to talk about leisure activities or activities you do in your free time. Yes, but that's what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Example, maybe sorry, okay. that, go ahead. Leisure? What is the meaning of leisure? I don't know. Leisure, yeah. leisure is uh, something of your free times or your. your uh, uh, diversion, or I don't know if diversion is a, a right word in English for funny. Fun, fun. Mm -hmm. Fun, oh. yes. So it's a synonym for free time, leisure yes, activities free time. or free time activities, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And there are some uh, half fun, hang out time, is a expression that uses gerunds. Okay. You said you was reading. I I I can't hear because my phones are my my, my earphones on. It was not connected, but I connect now. <laughs> okay. Go plus recreational bear. Use the grammar instruction go plus b in ing to talk about leisure activities or activities you do in your free time. Example: We go fishing with our married from the office. There is a new recreational program so that employees can go biking. He goes running every day after work. Excellent. The birds go, uh-huh, go ahead. No, continue, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Other expression used with gerunds is that is expression. Examples the employee had phone learning at the training. Okay. The new hire is having trouble understanding the safety procedure manual. Mm -hmm. Company suspend years building a reputation. And the birds go have waste and spend chains based on the subject and the side stance. Go have waste. And spend change. Notice, however, the ing form of the verb stays the same, no matter what tense is used. But what, what does this? Is the same? The same? Okay. The the go have waste and spend is something like auxiliary verb teacher. Go have waste and spend. It's something like a uh, auxiliary verbs mm -hmm. that complement the the verb with ing. Exactly. We uh, are going to have go have waste and spend before the verb that we are going to have as the gerund. For example, go fishing, go biking. Go, go fishing or when fishing. Okay, yeah, it depends, right? If yes, you're expressing yes, yes. your ideas in the past, yes, it could, it could be. The, the, bird, the bird can change, but the bird with the ENG is the same. Exactly. So after okay. go, we are going to have the bird with the ING form, right? The same as have. Have, okay, fun, have, or have, have yes. trouble. Those are synonyms. Very good job. Okay. Complete the sentence with the correct form of the bird in the box. Board, understand, serve, advertise. Side C. Side C, this is something like a, a turistiar, something like that. Side mm -hmm. C. For example, so, whenever you go to a shopping mall and you ah, don't yeah. need to get something, you don't need to buy, you are just sightseeing. Sightseeing. Right? Ah, okay. Waste of time, okay. Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> in other words, yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Jervin, 
What do you think was the first one? I think. Hello. Did you read all the information with your classmates. Questions about the previous information. But what? Let me see. What page is this one? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. So let's go over exercise number five. Same page. Oh. So do not worry. If you want, you can stop sharing. I'm going to share my screen. Look, do you have questions about this explanation? The one that we have here. Where is it? I guess thumbs. Did you read this information? Sala uno, ya vamos a ir a sala uno. Did you read Arrow. this information? Arrow it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> we, actually already know that, we already know about this topic, teacher. I said, no, come on. Because we have extra information. Look, we didn't have this information yesterday. So please go ahead and review this information, right? I'm just going to give you from two to three minutes so you can read the information. And if you have questions about this, be ready to participate whenever we are in the main room, okay? Okay. Do it, please. Here we go. Let me go and visit your classmate. Yes. Hi guys. Hi teacher. Hi. Yes. We need your help. Of course, I'm here. <laughs> Ready to help. Mm -hmm. uh, for the last sentences, we have a uh, a duda. Mm -hmm. A doubt uh, about it. A yeah. doubt. Uh -huh. Is correct say the boss goes to play, not playing. Okay, let me check on that. What number because, is it? Uh -huh. Number six. Number six. Because I, we think that it sounds weird if you say goes playing golf, but I, I don't know. Uh -huh. We don't know if, if it's correct to say that did or is you, it go to? Did you read the information that we have? Yeah, yes. it's just there. Uh -huh. It does say yeah. he goes running he every goes day. Running. Uh -huh. so, but, but with play, I think it sounds weird. Because it would be correct to say it, the boss goes to play golf, right? Not or really. Not. Take a look at the not information really. that we have here. El último cuadrito. The verbs go, mm -hmm. have, waste, and spend change base on the subject and desired tense. So in this case, ¿qué verbo tienen en esta oración? What is the verb that you have in this one? Number play. six. Yeah, it's play. go. Uh -huh. Go and play. Go. So after that, we need to have the gerund. And as we are talking or referring to a third person, bus. So goes playing, that's gonna be correct. Remember the boss, he, he goes, he goes playing. So yeah, it is correct. But what about when you say go, going to, or, or go to, you say to, and then you use the verb. What's the difference? Because it, it like, it says right there, it is as if every single time that you, you use go, you have to use a gerund, but what about when you say- No, not um, really, not or, not all the time. No. no, not really. Just like in this case, because we are practicing about gerunds or gerund phrases. Remember what is the function of a gerund? It acts as a mm -hmm. noun. So in this case, yeah, just because of that, we are going to have goals and then playing. I know that we can also have play as an infinity, right? But in this case, as we are just applying this type of rules, gerunds, 
we are going to use that only in this way, okay? That's mm -hmm. why, okay, Genesis, but no, I know it's correct to say to play, very good. Pero no, vamos a ver, esas son como las excepciones. Hablando mm -hmm. de Jeron, so that's why. Oh, okay. great question. Okay. So, did you finish? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So let's go back to the main room. So we can compare what you got from the sentences. Here we go. Okay, did you finish, guys? Yes, teacher. The page number yes. 17. 17. Let me look for it. Unit number two. Yes. Okay, just give me a moment. Unit number four. Oh, okay, that's why. Page number Ah, okay, now just forget about it. Estoy viendo el del avanzado uno, por eso no lo encuentro, no, but it's page number 17. Just give me a moment. Estamos unit number two. Aquí estoy. Okay. I ask you to go ahead and review the information that we have there. Why? Because there are some aspects that we didn't mention or that we didn't cover yesterday. Take a look at the information that we have here. Let me have some, some of you so you can help me out really with this one. Let me have Doris, Jocelyn, and Janari. Okay. 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 Go ahead, Doris. And the. Yeah. Let me show you what you're going to read. This, all of this information. Go please. How to use special expressions followed by gerundios. Look at the examples in the pots. Then complete the exercise below. Okay. Go, go plus recreational verbs. Use the grammar structures go plus verbs dash inch to, call, to talk about leisure activities or activities you do in, in your free time. Okay. Other expression used with gerundios have found have a good time plus year, year plus verse and in ing 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 very good ing have trolls have a difficult plus verse in ing waste spend time or money plus verse in ing in ing okay let's just stop here with this information Take a look at this information that we have. Go plus recreational verbs. What do we need to do? Use the grammar structure, go plus verb, ing, to talk about what is this? Do you know the meaning of this one? Lee, sure, activities. What is a synonym or another way of saying leisure? Um, what is this? Like, uh, it is ocio, como, uh -huh. like, or like, or like, uh, okay. something that you do for fun. Exactly. 
leisure activities. Ocio, sería traducción, ocio. There we go. Activities we do in our free time. So what is the structure that we have? Co, Teacher. verb, and ing. Tell me. Y que es ocio. <laughs> que es ocio, clases. Y es la misma que de. ¿Era algo productivo o no? When you waste oh, your time. When you waste, oh, when you waste your time. Oh. And something that are not productive. Like watching videos. <laughs> like watching TikTok. Watching TikTok. Okay. And Facebook. I guess it, that is not it's, productive. It's not necessary well, teacher. It's not necessary well. It, it all depends of how you can use it. Okay. It's not necessary well. Because you uh -huh. need you need to rest. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. You need to I rest. Know. You need, we, yes. We need Any. to have, yeah, exactly, some extra time yes. so we can enjoy yes. those type of activities. Yeah, right. It's not necessarily bad. No, pero decimos ocio, right? So you, you really enjoy doing. For example, you're not going to have an English book and you're going to be spending hours reading grammar topics, right, about grammar topics, no, right? It's not a leisure activity, no, because I'm not enjoying that, right? So, right. it's not recreational. For example, como decían ustedes, checking your social media, playing video games, or those type of activity, right? Is it clear now? I just learned a new word in Spanish and English mm -hmm. that I will remember in the future, I don't know. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, you no, know, no. I know we are learning, you know, this is like extra vocabulary. So I was thinking about that today, you know, I'm going to ask you to write down all of those new words, expressions, or extra vocabulary that we may have in every session, right? So I'm going to have you, I'm going to pick one of you so you can have just a short presentation or no pueda compartir any new word or expression from the previous class. So we can practice and have new vocabulary or expressions, right? Hagamos eso, vocabulario extra. Remember, it's just very necessary for you to practice. So going back to the main topic, other expressions used with gerunds, gerunds. Have fun, have a good time, have trouble, have difficulty, waste, spend time or money, plus verb and ing. Take a look at the example. Jocelyn, go ahead please, with this information. Okay. What are the examples that we have? Go. Okay, examples. We go fishing with our mother from the office. There is a new recreational problem so that employees can go biking. He goes running every day after work. The employees have fun learning at the training. The new hire is having trouble understanding the safety procedure manual. Companies spend years building a reputation. There we go. Mates. 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 What is this class? Mates. Synonym for mates. Co-workers? Friends. Co-workers. There we go. Partners. Partners. Partners, yeah. One, safety. Safety. Safety, safety procedure manual. There we go. Safety procedure manual. Safety. Okay. Muy bien. Excellent. We go fishing so that employees can go biking. He go running. Look. We have a verb, and after this verb, we are going to find the gerund or gerund expression, right? Have, in this case, it's in past, having, and after that, you are going to find the gerund expression, fun learning, travel understanding. Okay, and the last part of the information. Who was the other one that I mentioned? It was, let me see, Jocelyn, and after Jocelyn, a quien más mencioné? 
Who was it? I do not really remember. Me, I think me. Okay, Janari, go ahead, please. The verbs go, have, waste, and spend change based on the subject and desired tense. Notice, however, the ing from of the verb stays the same, no matter what things, what tense is used. Okay, so the verbs change based on the subject and the desired tense. Okay, for example, if you want to express this idea using the simple past, the present continuous, the simple present, of course you can do it. But remember, the verb with the ing form is going to stay the same, right? So, the examples that we have here, six different sentences. Let me have Fernando, Telma, and Freys. One, two, and three. Go, please. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, Mark and Dan go surfing during summer. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. What? Second one. Yeah, second one. That was the third one. Okay. Some of my coworkers had difficult difficulty working under pressure. Okay. And tell me, please. Okay. We had a good time surfing. Surfing. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Or or sightseeing. Yes. Ah, class. It's natural. It's natural. Mm, what do you think about this one? Sightseeing, teacher. Sight. Sightseeing. Sightseeing. Sight. And what is the meaning of this? Sightseeing. To go to different places to uh -huh. just look yeah. around yeah. and pasear. <laughs> pasear, right? <laughs> For example, no solo lugares turísticos. Not really. You can go to a um, department store and, you know, have fun or had a good time, sightseeing, shoes, sightseeing, new clothes, or those type of items, right? Eso es sightseeing. Andar bien, pero ¿cómo lo traducimos a español? Sightseeing. Vitrinear. <laughs> vitrinear. Okay. Turistiado. Turistiar, vitrinear, depende de donde andamos. Turistiar. <laughs> Because we don't have money, enough money, right? We just need to have a good time sightseeing. Okay, muy bien. Excellent. Four, five, and six. Madeline Francisco Andres. Go, please. Uh, the new employee had trouble understanding the safety regulations. There we go, five. Be ready to participate. The okay, go ah, <laughs> Don't worry. Sorry, sorry. The company was money our best things, the wrong products. So, what was that again? The company was money our things. Uh -huh, no? Okay, okay, okay. The wrong, the wrong products. Advertise. So, is it advertise or advertising? What is your opinion, class? Advertising. Advertising, yes. Remember that we are going to use the correct form of these verbs. In this case, as a gerund. Advertising. And what is the meaning of advertise? Anunciar. Okay, anunciar. So companies waste. They waste money advertising the from products. ¿Qué tipo de productos han visto que son Innecesarios, inútiles. And we take a look at those uh, TV commercials. TV offer. A TV offer, right? <laughs> okay. 
right? So they are unnecessary. And the last one, can you know, uh, I guess Andreas, right? Yes, teacher. Go, the boss goes playing golf after meetings. The boss goes playing golf after meetings. Okay, do you have the same, um, the same answer? Did you get the same information or do you have a different one? The same teacher. Same? All of the yes. rules? Questions about this topic? Because we're going to move on to a different one. So let me ask you questions about it. Not really? Okay. ¿Cómo decimos en español? Hay que calla. I have a question. <laughs> ah, I have a question. There, there you go. Oh, please. How many pairs can you put together with ING? For example, uh, I I have read some sentences with three verbs in ING together. Three verbs with the ING. Yeah, actually, you can do that. So in that case, remember, not all of them are going to work as a gerund, okay. right? A noun. So, yeah, exactly. Remember that a mm. gerund is a noun, so we can have complements, subjects, or any other type of, um, como le llamamos a esto, parts of the speech, o las partes de una oración también. So yes. Tenemos synonyms as well, right? So excellent, great question. Let's see, what was the topic for today? I guess this is quite easy, look. Appositives, appositives. What is an appositive? Something like a clause. Uh -huh. Okay, there we go. So David, can you please read the information that we have here? Appositive. Yes, teacher, appositive is a Noun phrase that clarifies or redefines its antecedents and antecedents, sorry, I can see the next yeah. part. Mm -hmm. Or uh, so an antecedent is something that comes before. There we My go. old sister, mm -hmm. Griselda, is going to college in the fall. We are redefining or clarifying it, or clarifying who my old sister is. There we go. What is an apostrophe? Hmm? What is this thing? What is this device? <laughs> How do we use it? What is this about? Look, uh -huh. tell me. Griselda is a apostrophe. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So probably the definition itself, um, it is also kind of confusing, right? But it will make sense um, whenever we see some examples. Take a look at the first example that I have here, a very easy one. Teacher, a question. Tell me. Is, is correct my old sister or my older sister? Um, It can be older, right? This is just a, like an expression. So older sister. Cambiamos, don't worry. It is correct. It is, it is, right? Older. It's older when you have more than one that it's older than mm -hmm. you. And old is when you only have one sister. When you only have one, exactly. Acuérdense que older, ¿qué es eso? Es un? Más, it's a superlative. Ajá. Uh -huh. O no. comparative. 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 Yes. comparative. comparative. Mm -hmm. yes. So, usémoslo como comparative. No hay problema. Same idea. Look, okay, ¿qué estamos ahí? My older or old sister, that's okay, that's all right. My older sister, Griselda, is going to college in the fall. Take a look at the definition. In this case, Griselda, we are redefining or clarifying who my old or older sister is. So is it necessary to have this extra information or not? No. No, it's not. Actually, it is necessary. It is, it is necessary, necessary, but it's not. Why? Indispensable. Ah, 
Ah, okay. It is necessary because remember we are clarifying or redefining. In this case, I really want you to know about who my older sister is. What's oh, her okay. name? Oh, Griselda, right? So my older sister, Griselda, is going to college in the fall. ¿Se acuerdan que vimos algo similar? Eh, it was on Monday, I guess. Pero que no necesitábamos esa información y que también we were, placing, ajá, and we were placing that information between commas as well. So this can be very similar, but it's not the same. Parenthetical sentences. Do we really need that information? Or can we take off that information with parenthetical information or sentence? Yes, we take off. Ah, exactly. Take off. And the sentence is going to have the same meaning. So okay. with a positive, it is very similar. We are going to have this extra information between commas because we want to clarify, in this case, an antecedent. Right, el antecedente or the previous information, right? Antecedent is just something that comes before. In this case, in this sentence, we have the information in the middle of the sentence. Take a look at this one. Quiero ver, le pregunto, um, I need you to participate. Quiero que todos, si alguien se me queda de no participar, please. Acuérdenme, Jarvin, go please. Second example. What is this about? I guess he's not there, right? Okay. So let me pick Hennessy. Read the information, the example, please. Okay. They stopped selling my favorite snack, the cookie cat. Okay, continue. Okay, my favorite snack is being redefined or clarified by cookie cat, or rather the cookie cat is clarifying or redefining my favorite snack. Okay, where do we have this information? At the beginning? In the middle of the sentence or at the at end? At the end. At the end. So you can have this extra but necessary information at the beginning, in the middle of the sentence, or at the end. As you may see, my favorite snack. Okay. What is the name of your favorite snack? The, the cookie, cookie cat. cat. The cookie cat. So, yeah really sad because they stopped selling my favorite snack. So I really want you to know about this information. Oh, the cookie cat. So in this case, this extra information is clarifying or redefining my favorite snack, right? So let me repeat that again. We really need to have this information. Is it clear? Oh, se da tal vez a confusión con los parenthetical information or not. A positives are very similar, right? But they are not the same. So if I ask you in your own words, can you tell me a short definition about parenthetical phrases information? What is that? An extra information that is not necessary. Muy bien. It's an extra information that is not necessary. A positive. What is that? Is it specifying the, the information that you are giving? Mm -hmm. This is extra information as well, but we really need to have it. Why? Because is yes, I think. This is specifying, this okay. is make, making clear I'm what making. Uh, you are talking about. There we go. That's it. So you 
really need to remember about this information. Take a look what I have here. I have 10 different examples and we are going to be working together, right? Number one and number two. What do I need you to do to combine the sentences into one with an opacity? Look at the examples that I have, number one and number two. My mother lost her favorite ring. This is the first one, first sentence. It was a gift from her great grandmother. Take a look. How do we combine or how do we do? Or how do we get these two expressions together with a positive? My mother lost her favorite ring, comma, a gift from her great grandmother. Okay, tenemos la misma idea. A gift from her great grandmother. William, take a look at the second example and read the information, please. <laughs> the Han River flows through. CO, I don't know. It is South Korea's second longest river. The Han, South Korea's second longest river, flows through CO. Okay, how do you pronounce that in English? In Spanish? ¿Cómo es en español? Korea? Or what? Seoul. Seoul. How do you say that in English? Seoul. So, so, exactly. So, so, Seul, Espanol, English, so. The Han River flows through Seoul. It is South Korea's second longest river. Look, como tenemos la extra information between commas. The Han, especificamos South Korea's second longest river. And then we have like the complement, right? Flows through. So, is it clear? Questions about this type of sentences? What is your opinion about this one? Is it difficult? Because at this time, have, at, this at, this, time, at this time, we don't know teaching, but when we are training, we, we let you know it's <laughs> difficult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really like that, you know. We can't uh, the, uh, yeah, the, the, the sentences mm -hmm. are not going to be the same, the same structure. Maybe uh -huh. you can, not you right. can change because the, the last example, for, mm -hmm. I maybe I will clarify at the end my case, for, for example, but they include in in middle of the sentence. Exactly. The declaration. Yes, it could be different, yes. It is like if you take the information and you combine because you want to make a single sentence, right? So yes, yes. that is possible. So let me see how this goes. Vamos a ver cómo no pasa. Don't worry. If you know what, hagamos algo. I don't want you to get lost with this information. So, vamos a hacer this exercise at the end. And as of right now, let's go and complete this one because it's an easier one. Just let me show you this one. Vámonos aquí, this one. Okay, students book, go over page 19, exercise eight and nine. And same, right? With the help of your classmates, you're going to complete these exercises. Students book, please. Vamos a ver qué tal nos va. Read the information. No solo se vayan a completar, no. I need you to read the information because after that we are coming back and we are going to compare the answers right so new groups 
Vamos a volver a crear las salas. Here we go. Okay. Page number 19. Okay. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Excuse me, are you going to send the exercise or is it? No, I start right now. I need you to go to page number 19, student's book, right? Mm -hmm. And we are going to have the first example that I was showing you at the end of the class, right? Okay. So, uh, do we do exercise nine from that page? page number nineteen? Page nineteen eight and nine. Eight exercise and nine. eight and nine. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Sure. So first, hmm. So let's see. Number eight. What is examples in there? So number nine, design eight. some uh -huh. eight and nine. Yes. Yeah, but number eight is the example, right? In uh -huh. the page 19, we are going to uh, on the exercise eight and nine. Let me show you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, this is page number 19. I need you to go over all of this information and examples that you have here because it is very useful. And after that, you're going to read sentences below. And remember, not all of them, or probably all of them, are going to have like this extra information. The yeah. apostles, right? So this is what you're going to be doing. So take okay. your time. Do not worry. I'm going to be here. Okay, sure. So number eight. Um, it says, look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Uh, it says, uh, an appositive is a word or word group that defines or that identifies the noun or noun phrase preceding it. También, si esto no lleva... Ah! Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> That's what I have to say, so... <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> we are... Two birds with one stone, even. Matando dos paros de un solo tiro. Eso, es smart. You're really smart, guys. <laughs> Son muy inteligentes, me parece. Go ahead, please. Do not worry. Háganlo. That's okay. Huh. But remember, I really need you to go and read the information that we have there as well. So do this activity first. And after that, you go to your student's book and read the information at the top of page number 19. Okay? Okay. Okay. Go, please. Not put back here. What's in the office? That's behavior like not good web behavior life maybe like the period 
in the West. Um, it's not just one comma, it's two comma. Where you start the uh, one and where it starts and the uh, second one. Not is putting good. up with bad behavior can make can make work more enjoyable for for employees. But I I don't know, but I think like like harassment or discrimination is the extra information for me. I don't know. So the comma, the first comma is after behavior and the second comma is after discrimination for me. I don't know. Okay. Clean up. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Did you read the information? Yeah. You did. Okay. We, we are trying to resolve uh -huh. the exercise number nine, but in the second mm -hmm. item, the crim criminal act committing of tolerance with the medical activities can cripple. Como lisiars, according según San Google, uh -huh. la <laughs> reputación <laughs> de la empresa. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Yeah. Arruinarse. Uh -huh. Muy bien. So, what is the extra information o la que nos ayuda a clarificar la información? Los actos cri criminal acts. Uh -huh. Okay, no sé. Ustedes decían, don't worry, vamos a chequear esto al final. I just need okay. you to express your opinion, okay? Don't worry. Go ahead, please. So? <laughs> no, but it's about uh, coming no, uh, ah, So let mm -hmm. me help you. Let's you. Criminal acts, Com committing or tolerating un unmerical activities. Unmerical. Hasta ahí, activities. ¿Qué dice después? Viene un verbo. Can okay. cripple a company's So, as you may see, tenemos toda una expresión, okay? Can cripple the company's reputation. So, in that case, as this extra information is at the end, we are just going to have one comma, right? Okay. There we go. Like how about number one? Oh, the number one. Mm -hmm. uh, happily employees increase productivity and make it easier to attract the talent with value. Mm. I think after productivity, we have to put in a Increase productivity. For me, but I am not sure. Remember that you can also Pero, decide if they do not need like this extra yeah. information. Hay I algunas think. que no llevan, right? Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. some of them that they don't have like this extra information. So not all of them are going to have an, a positive expression. So probably this is one of them. Okay. Number two. Read that again, please. Number two. 
criminal acts. Sería como después de criminal acts, dos puntos. Mira la definición que nos da. Criminal acts. Or what is the example that this example is giving us? Or the extra information to clarify. Committing or tolerating an ethical, oh an ethical activity. Entonces va desde ahí, desde committing. Ahí está. There we go. Okay. So in this case, okay. where do we have this extra information? Is it at the end, in the middle, or at the beginning? In the, the middle. middle. Ah, the ya middle. seleccionamos más. So in this case, we are going to have, yes, two commas. One, after the verb act, and the other one, after the noun activities. There we go, very good job. Mm -hmm. Uh, number three uh, from like or uh, after after behavior. Hi guys, did you finish? Hi teacher, yes, we finished. You did? Did you read the information? Yes, we, we read. So you know what? I don't know if you already went to the platform and if you already checked section number two. Did you? Uh, no, at this moment, no. Not really? No. Because we have the same exer exercise. You know, uh, so you okay. can take advantage of this one. But you know, let's wait so we can check the correct answers. And after that, you can go over section number two, exercise 2.5 and complete this exercise as well. This is just wow. like extra information, okay? Okay, teacher, There we go. So let me have number one. Let me see. What is the answer that you got in number one? Okay. Vamos a ver cómo vamos. Number one. We have happy employees increase so, productivity mm -hmm. and make it I need easier. to go to. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. Make okay. it easier to attract talented it happy new hires. Employees. Okay. No, no commas. Interesting, exactly. Because we really need to have all of this information. We do not have extra information. So in this case, we are not clarifying or redefining anything. Right, very good job. Number two. The, the book says, teacher, that uh, mm -hmm. if we have this uh, possible, it can be essential information or extra information. Exactly. Only in the qualify, only a positive that mm -hmm. are extra information, I suppose. <laughs> there we and go. Put the example of CEO Kevin Clark. Yes. Kevin Clark is necessary. Yes. In it, like, like in this case, I think or we think that maybe it could be happy. Happy. Not maybe. really. Because could most be. of the time we do not have like a single word. We have a complete ah, okay, expression. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the expression, yes. Expression, yes. Okay. So in okay. this case, number one, yeah, that's okay. We do it's not, not have commas. Any, no commas. Number two, criminal act. Okay, interesting. Criminal act. And what are the examples or the extra information that we have there? Committing or tolerating on ethical activities. Aha, uh -huh. muy bien. Ken, do you know Can what is the meaning of cripple? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Something like uh, uh, arruinar. Ah, muy bien. Arruinar, imagínense. Cripple. ¿Ya habían usado esa palabra? Cripple. Uh, I see. Uh, I like to read books in English and I, uh -huh. I, I see it sometimes. So, cripple. 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 Yes. Muy bien. Eh, fíjense que también. 
he escuchado esta palabra, I have heard in another context, right? Cripple, it, in this case, we are referring to a place, in this case, a company, right? But if we use this one to refer to people, it has another meaning. ¿Qué sería en para personas? Okay, we can use with a company or we can use with a, a, a people, mm -hmm. with people. In este caso, with people, ¿cuál sería el meaning? Cripple. Como herir, lisiar, mutilar. Okay, yes. mm -hmm. Paralizar también. Paralizar, ajá. Así que mm -hmm. es bueno que lo veamos en different contexts, right? So in yes. this case, cripple. Instead of saying... Ruin, ruin, arruinar, otro sinónimo, or, you can use or, yeah. or destroy. Destroy, that is another yes. synonym, right? Muy bien, number three. What is the extra but essential information? Like harassment or discrimination. Ah, there we go. Harassment or discrimination. Number four. Currently on train. Mm -hmm. Actualmente de moda o en tendencia. Uh -huh. En tendencia, right? Mm. So? Many of the best management practice correct through and train are easy to achieve with the company acts ethically. So do we have extra information to clarify? Yes. Are you sure which is the one? Yes, because uh, we only need management practice. Many of the best management practice. This is what we need are easier to achieve with the company acceptable. Okay, can you read this same sentence, but taking off this information between commas? Does this still make sense or not? Yes, yes, I, okay, I can read. Ahead, many, many of the best management practice are easier to achieve with the company acceptable. Mm -hmm. It so, makes sense, yes. Okay. Yes, actualmente de moda, could be or not could be. Okay, are easier, okay, remember, achieve, achieve. Achieve, yes. ¿Qué es achieve? Alcanzar, Alcanzar, lograr. muy bien, alcanzar, lograr. If the company acts ethically. And the last one. This is the number five, there are six. Ah, okay, so number five. The economy benefits in the words of the experts when companies refrain from using dirty tricks to crash competitors. Okay, competitors. So the extra information is in the words of the experts. There we go, number six. Number six is aside from integrity. Mm -hmm. So that's right, very good. So did you, well, I was mentioning that I don't know if you have gone and checked uh, the platform, David. I only made the section one, the, the chapter ah, okay. one, the chapter two, no. Not really, because we have the very same exercise, you know, in the platform, so. I, 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 I think so, yes. Yeah, I, right. we always yes. have it like that, right? Yes. So let's wait for your class break so we can compare the answers. And after that, you can take advantage of this, right? So okay. let's go back to the main room. Okay. Oops. Okay, teacher.
There we go. It is time to compare your answers. Vamos a ver, student's book. Page number 19. Okay, let me have Telma and, and Kenya. Telma and Kenya, please. Go ahead and read the information that we have here. Okay. Let me make it bigger. <laughs> Okay, go please. This information. Um, are both or not? Or no, all of these are written? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. How how do commas to sit sit it up opposite? It? Look at the example on the box. Then complete the exercise below. And opposite. It, is a word of word group that defines, defines or that identifies the noun or noun phrase preceding it. Example, Jerry Lee, the CEO of the company, is always doing the possible to promote ethical behavior at work or boss who leads the talk on ecology honesty. will get an award at the end of the year for his exemplary actions. The more emotionally healthy executive as measured on a variety of tests were more likely to score high on edit tests. There we go. Thank you so much. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Anapacity. What is anapacity? It's a word, but it's not that common, you know? It's a word as in the first example that I was presenting, right? Griselda. Do you remember about that example? The name of my older sister Griselda so it can be a word but it's not that common you know most of the time we are going to find a word group that defines or in this case identifies the noun or noun phrase presenting it examples Jerry Lee do we look do we have a word or word group as an appositive. It's a word group. What is this? It's a word or word group. Same, right? And as measured on a battery of test. Same, so as you may see, not all the time, it's not that common to have a word or a single word as an appositive. But yeah, it is possible to do that. Look at this information. Okay, who did I mention? Quien más mencioné? I do not remember, you know, I'm sorry. Me. Okay, go ahead, thank you. A positives can be essential information or extra information. Only a positives that are extra information are separate from the rest of the clause by commas. By commas, there we go, thank you. Only the ones that are extra information. For example, Kevin Clark, is this extra information or not? No, it's not. Why not? Because? Because it's part of the... <laughs> it's um, necessary. Can you say it's necessary to? Necessary to help identify the CEO. So? So no commas are used. There we go. Keep that in mind, please. 
Vamos a ver, number one. Happy employees increase productivity and make it easier to attract talent. New hires. Le voy a dar un número acá. Let me see. Madeline, number one. Doris, number two. David, number three. Go ahead, please. Uh, happy employees increase productivity and make it easier to attract talent new hires so do we have extra information or not no it's correct okay class what is your opinion about this one do you agree with her yes. yeah yeah yes teacher we agree yes teacher we do agree excellent that is right. We do not have extra information. Number two, please. Number two. Criminal acts, comma, committing or tolerating an activity, comma, can destroy a company's reputation. Oh, there we go. Criminal act, and then we have the clarification, right? Committing or tolerating America. Okay, let me see. Chicos, escucho unos perritos por ahí. Ay, ay, it's me. I don't know. No, 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 I'm sorry. Let me do that. Okay, I'm sorry. Lo siento por apagar el micrófono. I need it to. Vamos a ver. Criminal acts, coma. Muy bien. Committing or tolerating unethical activities can cripple. ¿Qué es eso? What is the meaning of cripple? Look. Extra vocabulary. What is that? Cripple. What is that like? Is it, is it like? I guess now. Undermining. Give me the definition. Like destroy. destroy. Uh -huh. It can be okay. a synonym. Destroy. So I was talking to, I guess it was David and Andres group. So destroy, pero en una persona. ¿Cómo sería el significado? Cripple. Es qué tipo de daño o cómo lo ponemos en español. Cripple. Lisiado. Ah, imagínense. Lisiar. ¿Otro sinónimo? Invalidar. Invalidar, muy bien. Un lisiado. Así que no olviden, podemos usar esta palabra, yes. Destroy or cripple. Muy bien. Number three, go ahead, please. Your microphone. Okay, not pure enough with bad behavior like harassment or discrimination can make work more enjoyable for employees. Mm -hmm. And the commas are uh, not pure enough with bad behavior, coma, like harassment or discrimination, coma can make work more enjoyable for employees. So the first one after the word behavior. not. Behavior. Behavior, oh, here, behavior. Behavior, yes, behavior. And the other one? This no spewing out bad behavior, bad behavior, comma. Mm -hmm, bad behavior. Like, like this is the, the example, like harassment or discrimination. Yes, that is the positive. This like is harassment or, or discrimination. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. What is your opinion, class? Do you agree with him? Are you in agreement? I agree. Okay. You agree. Yes. Yes. So that is the one. Very good job. Number four, five, and six. Four, five, and six. Fernando. Francisco Freddy's. Many of the children there are research sheep that you can find your very carry. That is the it's the same without commas. Okay. We do not have extra information to clarify. 
Do you no. agree with this class? Are you in agreement or not? What is your opinion? Number four. I think it's correct. Okay, Madeline. Okay. Present that this is correct. Yes. Francisco. Uh, well, uh, I think of me, we select, we put comma between, between? achieve um, if. Achieve and uh, if. To achieve if the company acts ethical. I okay. Point. I think. Yeah. I think it's after practices mm -hmm. and currently in trend and comma and then practices rest. currently on trend up to this word trend. But practices teacher? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, practices, practices not. Practices is practices. part of the main sentence. Uh -huh. okay. so Only yeah. currently. Okay. There we go. Cur currently so on trend. After currently on Trend. Trend, mm -hmm. okay. That so is the positive. This is the positive. There we go. Si sí tenemos yes. una positive in this sentence. Currently on trend. Muy bien, chicos. Que estamos. Number five. ¿A quién le dije number five? Who was it? <laughs> Class, you need to be paying attention, you know? So let me have William. The economy benefit, a comma, in the words of the expert, uh, when companies refrain from using dirty tricks to crush competitors. Okay, so do we have extra information? Yeah, in the words of the experts. It's already there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is, right? There we go. Easy. That was easy. Uh, yeah. teacher, in, in the case of the, of the mm -hmm. four sentences, mm -hmm. and in there in the in platform is bad because in, plat in platform oh. is right without uh, extra information, uh, with, with com without comma. So, Number so four. They, they have to, yeah, they have to, to change that. Okay. I'm going to be checking that right now. Gracias, Chico, for the information. Number six, let me finish with this exercise so we can go over the platform and compare the answers that we have there. Number six. ¿Quién más, chicos? Yo creo que todos ya participaron, right? Freddy's. Freddy's. ¿Y qué se me ha hecho Freddy's? Where are you, Freddy's? Acá, Jutla. Freddy's. Se no puede dormir ya. No, right? Ahí está. Go flip. Number six. What happened with number six? Do we have extra information here and a positive? I or don't not? Know. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you can tell me you're the teacher. <laughs> ah, no, no, but you were practicing. Yeah, but we actually in the group that was, we were finishing to number five. Oh, okay. We were working on the platform. They're the same in the platform. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is your opinion, Janari? Number six, do we have extra information? <laughs> I don't know, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I think a key component to workplace a size, right? A key component to workplace. A size. A size. Round. For integrity, comma, is being honest and doing the right thing at all times. So it goes from a size up to mm -hmm. integrity. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go to the platform. Veamos. Section number two, exercise 2.5, I guess, right? Veamos que tenemos in the platform. 
Vamos a ver. Aprovechemos. Completemos section number two. This was not in the lesson plan, but let's do that. Here we go. Oh, no. Here we go. Two point five. Aquí está, chicos. Miren, same activity. ¿Cuál me decían? Which was the one? The fourth. Number four and the last one. Four and the last one. ¿Qué pasa con eso? Number four, According uh, to the platform, the platform uh -huh. are right with, without commas. Really? Okay. Then we must try this. I do not really like to do this, but I will have to. Tick, tick, tick. I stop. <laughs> Number four, this. Uh, yes, right. Pero que piensan ustedes? According to your opinion. It's wrong. It is actually it is. Why? What is the extra information that we have here? Currently on trend. Esa sería la expresión, um, coma. Currently on trend. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you know, eh, vamos a hacer algo. Did you com did you already complete these sections or not? No. In my case, no? I did. In your case, you did. Because I can ask um, people from tech support so they can go over and correct this information, right? Hagamos eso. As of right now, completenla sin comas without a positive expression, right? Number four. Voy a pedir que la corrijan y les dejo saber para que ustedes la cambien. And number six, you said, right? Number five. ¿Qué pasa with number five? What? Teacher, the, the number four. Yeah. The number four, maybe, maybe it was correct. Many of the best, pra of the best management practice, uh, we are not talking, uh, we are talking specific. O sea, muchas de las mejores prácticas que actualmente están en boga. Ah, pero ahí especificamos. Ajá. Oración, trend. Ajá. Entonces, posiblemente estamos, es, es, es Correcto, esencial ya. porque estoy hablando, justa, no, no solo estoy hablando de las mejores prácticas, sino estoy hablando de las prácticas que ahorita son tendencia. Entonces, eh, eh, si ese es el caso, eso es esencial. Ok, Iris, pero aún así, si es esencial, ¿qué decía nuestro ejemplo en el libro? O sea, What are we going to place? A coma, o sea, porque, en este caso. Sería, porque si yo digo, yeah. si yo digo muchas de uh -huh. las mejores eh, prácticas de administración. Uh -huh. eh, ok, puedo empezar desde Fayol o Henry Fayol o... De, 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 de los primeros, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, pero estoy hablando de las prácticas actuales. Entonces, específicamente de las prácticas actuales, no del pasado. Maybe in that case, it could be correct without commas. Because it's, eh, it's no, no extra information, it's specific information. Ok, like but even though it is specific, ¿qué necesitaríamos? Aunque la necesitáramos. Comparemos con este ejemplo de el... El CEO. Kevin, ah, del CEO, miren. Yes, CEO Kevin Clark, oh, CEO, uh -huh. this, that CEO. Uh -huh. CEO Kevin Clark, is like a title of the, of the guy. The guy is the CEO. It's not another CEO, it's the CEO Kevin Clark. Because 
Mm, okay, so in that case, tomémoslo entonces tal vez de esa manera. It, it could But be. For it me, could be. this is like extra information, right? Yes, it for me be. too, but I am thinking in the other side of the... Yeah, right. So it makes yeah. sense. I, I, I always sense, like right? to sing in, <laughs> in the side of the student, yes. Oh, yes, me Give me an answer. I try to analyze mm -hmm. it. The day you can, you can be right, yes. Yeah, right. So that's right. Tomémoslo en esa parte. ¿Tiene sentido o no, clase? It does, right? It makes sense at the end. It could be both ways, It could I think. It could be both ways, exactly. Both ways. Very good job. Can so, I ask something? Go ahead, sure. Um, I don't know if um, if you can ask them as well that for some answers, yeah. if you don't finish with a period, it takes the answer as wrong and it's annoying yeah. because it confuses. Yes. Yes, I, yes. Because you think, oh, I'm doing it wrong. And then you start trying to change it many, many times. Punctuation, it right? Yeah, because mm -hmm. number three, for example, if you look at the at the question or at the sentence, mm -hmm. it doesn't have a period, but the answer requires a period. And it's yes. a, super annoying, honestly. So you I'm know sorry. what? What we could do in that case, why not? Let's have like the last minutes of each class so we can compare what we have been doing in the platform, right? So in that case, if you have questions about those type of, uh, for example, punctuation rules or things that you need to do in the sentence, I can help you, you know? Va a ser como más rápido. But yes, I will ask them to check that information again. Hagámoslo, les mencioné que este avanzado tiene muchos errores. Yo he identificado varios, right? Y believe me, toma un poco de tiempo que corrijan porque son muchos cursos, pero eso no es excusa. Gracias, Génesis. Oh, my God, take a look. Ya son las 10. No, my God. Y ni terminado. ¿Qué pasa? Se me olvidó de la hora. So, class, vamos a chequear la asistencia. Please, say here or present. Y ahora, please, who is going to stay today? Freddy's. Ya estuvo. Génesis, you're the one. You're the chosen one. <laughs> okay, yeah. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night to you. Bye bye. See you next class. David Samuel Galdames Monterroso. Present teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. He's not here. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have a great night. Erwin Lagos Andrade. He was not in the class, right? Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Muy bien. Francisco Amadeo Corta Chávez. Present. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. También. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Rizuela. Present. Arvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Yasmín Marisol Escobar Flores. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Kenia, Kenia, ah, she's a killer. Hi, Kenia. Lourdes Montserrat Hernandez Velasquez. Lourdes, not really. Telma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Okay. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Janari Cortez Díaz. I'm here. Okay. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Okay. Good, okay. Night. Good night Thanks. to you guys. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. The teacher oh, yes, didn't mommy. mention me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Madeline. Madeline Javier Molina Gonzalez. Okay. okay. I'm so bye. sorry. Good I'm night. so sorry. Good night. Okay. Ahí estamos. Hi, Genesis. ¿Cómo estamos, Genesis? Hi. <laughs> bien, ¿qué tal? Bien, bien. Wow, ya creo que es la hora, ¿verdad? Right? Because of the time. No menciona a Madrid. Muy bien. So, um, just let me ask you. 
advanced number two. How do you feel with this class, this level? What do you need to reinforce or algo que podamos hacer en, de, en la clase mm -hmm. para ayudar? Well, I, I actually really like these classes. Mm -hmm. It's my first time uh, oh, taking really? them. Okay. And yeah, and I really, I, I never knew that that uh, this existed and I just found out like a month ago and really? it's okay. been amazing because yeah, I really wanted to practice because at my job, I don't really use English at all ever and I don't think I'm ever going to use it so uh, <laughs> I really didn't practice that much uh, uh -huh. only with my sister so it's been great because I really want to improve improve and right exactly so you know it, yeah. yeah actually English Corporativo offers it offers like two different type of classes right it's the thing for the trabajo so as you may see we present like different topics related to the workplace. It is like a conversational class, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other ones son eh, más que todo como grammar topics, right? It's so different from this one, right? So this is different. Mm -hmm. So I have been listening. Your pronunciation is good. Your English is good. So I do not have like corrections because I love the way you pronounce English, right? It sounds so natural. I don't know. That's why I was wondering, is there like any specific topic that you would really like to reinforce? For example, I was asking your classmates, y me decían, teacher, you know, I do not really like definitions. No me gustan las definiciones because I cannot remember about this information, right? But as you yeah. may know, we are learning a new language. So it is necessary for you to have a definition. For example, if I ask you, yeah. what is an appositive? So I'm not asking you to give me an example. I'm wondering if you know about this topic, right? So mm -hmm. what is your opinion about that? No, I, think definition? Mm -hmm. yeah, tell uh, me. I think it's important because yeah. uh, <laughs> For example, the way yeah, the way I learned English was super um uh, como se dice empirical. Empi mm -hmm. Empirical, well, yeah, empirical, and, yeah. And, uh -huh. and and so if you <laughs> ask me about definitions, you do not know. I right? really don't know. And <laughs> I think it's important because uh -huh. it helps you understand when to use certain things. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh -huh. and for example, like gerunds. Uh, there are many things that I just um, think uh, about how they sound, and that's how mm -hmm. I guide myself with uh, resolving the exercises. But sometimes, sometimes I'm I'm wrong, and it's super useful to know the definition. Well, mm -hmm. most of the time, it's super good to know the definition because it can help me, you know, better visualize when to to know when to use certain mm -hmm. things and uh i think that i do have i do have a, a few things that i sometimes get confused mm -hmm. with and for example i sometimes don't know when to use in or on or at you know and it it's kind of confusing so that kind of thing that's just an example like of many. preposition of time okay muy bien. Uh -huh. yeah you see i don't know how they're <laughs> 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 say a preposition of time at on in so, so don't worry este más que todo siempre es la práctica you know for example los gerunds los usamos sin saber que se llaman gerunds o que esa estructura existe right Exactamente. Exactamente. Ajá. Entonces, sí es interesante porque algunos de los compañeros, as you may notice, tienen más dificultad para expresarse, para pronunciar incluso. Y hay algunos que se enojan que los corrijan. Yo digo, no, this is part of the process, right? The learning process. Así que por eso me yeah. gusta tenerlos uno por uno después de la clase para escucharlos. 
no importa si su inglés es perfecto, súper bien, mejor para mí. Pero sí, cualquier cosa, ese comentario de la platform, perfecto, es muy bien recibido. Porque puedo estar dudando, ¿qué? ¿Me estoy haciendo mal el ejercicio? No, solo era un punto que me faltaba. Right. So, sí, de uh -huh, yeah. ahorita, ahorita estaba haciendo la tarea 2.2 y todas me salen malas. Really, veamos. Y, ajá, y yo siento, no, no sé qué pasa. <risa> Vamos Porque, a ver si la puntuación. Ajá, okay. ajá y, y por ejemplo, la semana okay. pasada uh -huh. pasé un buen rato. De hecho, hay una que todavía me sale mala y no tengo ni idea de qué estoy haciendo mal. Sí, hagamos, yo creo que mañana vamos a hacer esto porque tenemos el midterm exam también. Y en Ajá. section number two tenemos one, two, three, five, cinco ejercicios. O sea, es extra time que ponemos también sí. en nuestra parte y por qué no hacerlo en conjunto con la clase, right? A mí me parece interesante Ajá. hacerlo. Vamos a hacerlo mañana. Sí. This one, no, 2.2. Ajá. Por ejemplo, the first one ah. I wrote. Peter gave up smoking and it says it's wrong and I already add, added the period mm. and it still says it's wrong. Qué triste la plataforma. Yo no sé por qué falla bastante. Ahí está smoking uh -huh. is in period at the end. Uh -huh. Or I don't know if I just have to type the word smoking but yeah. it's sometimes confusing because yeah, just like this smoking oh so it's not the whole sentence no it's not it's just the word it's just the verb mm -hmm. the verb okay, uh, the but you know that is uh confusing because there are other exercises that that say uh that that you type the whole sentence the whole so sentence. i thought mm -hmm. uh-huh so and i thought it case, was the whole sentence it's just the verb in parentheses Ajá. Walking, writing, making, building, drinking. Y acá hice la parte número dos. Lo mismo, right? I guess it's the same. Mm. Good at dancing, about singing. Yeah. So it just, it's just the, it's just the, the verb. Word, right? I guess the instructions, they are not that clear. Oh, yeah. And you know, I, I want to know if I already sent the answers and they were wrong and then then I fixed them and then send them again. Uh, is is it going to remain as as a register? Is it going to be registered as no, not really, not really. Wrong? Okay, you know you can go or, and check that. Aquí hay un progress. Hay una parte que dice progress. Entonces aquí uh -huh. nos va mostrando. Homework number one, two, three, de cada sección. Entonces ahí tiene que aparecernos. Ah, ok. Aquí el total de los puntos o acá en la barra es el 100%. Así que no, eso tiene la plataforma. Nos deja ir y corregir nuevamente y enviar nuevamente. El último resultado que enviamos, ese es el que nos guarda. Así que no hay problema. Ah, ok. Ajá, yo Y siempre. Sure. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. Sí, sí. Todo lo que quede el chequecito verde y ahí ya nos da pues la pauta de que, que sí está correcto. Okay. ok, y siempre hay que hacerlas antes del domingo o antes de cuándo. Not really, porque eh, en este caso una unidad puede durar cinco o hasta seis clases seguidas. En el caso de la unit number one, la terminamos ayer. Hasta ayer mm. terminamos. Hemos estado casi dos semanas, una semana y media con una sola unidad. Así que en mm. el caso de la section number two, vamos a terminar hasta, si empezamos ahora, seis clases con este tema, con esta unidad. Ah, Tenemos okay. hasta la otra semana. ¿eh? Así que no se preocupen. Siempre es como, quiero ver, les voy a ir indicando. Ya estamos en sección número dos. Ah, ok, ok. Pero sí, igual cuando vamos al midterm exam que aparece en la sección número 2, también tenemos un repaso. Hay una clase específica para hacer el repaso de todo ese contenido. Ahí finalizaríamos ya la sección número 2. Ok. Y el examen uh -huh. es... Ah, ya después de eso hay un examen. ¿verdad? Hay un examen. Tenemos el midterm exam and the final one. 
que es en la ah. section number four. Creo que estos cursos solo tienen cuatro secciones. La mayoría okay. tiene cinco secciones, pero este cuatro. Uh -huh. Así que okay. vamos, vamos a ver eso. Uh -huh. Y de igual manera, en cada sección tenemos videos extra. Eh, hasta ahorita no he presentado ninguno en la clase, pero sí, para mañana tengo un par de videos para que podamos igual como discutir de qué se trata cada video o en el caso le sirve a ustedes como contenido extra. ¿Okay? Ah, ok, perfecto. A veces no me gusta presentarlos porque ya los han visto y es como repetir nuevamente la información, pero sí, casi siempre se hace. ¿no? Ah, pero siempre sirve. Aunque se siempre repita. sirve, siempre sirve bastante, siempre sirve. Y a veces siento bien cortitas estas clases. Yo, ¿qué? ¿Ya dos horas se acabaron? Sí. Es como, no, no y a mí eso es lo que me gusta porque no se sienten muy largas. No, no se sienten no siente muy larga Aunque a veces sí, lo que más me está costando es hacerlos participar. No, no les gusta participar. Y yo, ¡ay, guay! Quiero a todos como Génesis en la clase, como David, que se atreven a participar. Pero creo que es parte. Les da miedo simplemente. Yo no sé por qué. Estamos en avanzado. Sí, yo creo que es que yo... Ajá. Ah, soy bien así de que soy muy <risa> plática a veces. But that's true, you know. Lo que vamos a hacer, Génesis, vamos a enviar a los que no les gusta hablar con Génesis en el grupo. <risa> a veces voy a visitar los grupos y callado yo, did you finish? Y ellos, no, did you talk? Yo keep on working, no hablan. Y yo, es que estamos trabajando individual. Y yo, no, no es la idea, ¿ok? Así que no, Génesis, cualquier cosa, preguntas de la plataforma, cursos, material extra, es bienvenido, ¿ok? Así que, thank you so much sí, for the no, fans, yeah, tell me. No, y yo la felicito porque de verdad me gustan sus clases, oh, porque no, las hace bien gracias, interactivas. Gracias. Sí, Esa bien. es la idea, es un reto muchas veces tener dos horas, o atentos a los estudiantes dos horas. Eh, sí. Más que todo el material del libro es bien cortito, entonces toca rebuscarse y buscar varias cosas, pero no, esa es la idea, que uh -huh. eh, nos divertamos. A mí me gusta, me gusta bastante eh, este tipo de grupos, son muy interactivos, eh, cuesta mucho más cuando son básicos, es como mucho más difícil. Entonces con los avanzados uh -huh. me siento tranquila porque sé que entienden, sé que solo es algo bien poquito que tengo que reforzarles. ¿no? Y no, estamos muy bien, Genesis, mm. así que keep on doing yeah. that great job, ¿ok? You're doing thank it great. Thank you, you too. Oh, thank <laughs> you. you. Too. I appreciate that comment. So, um, And I really like this class. Really, yeah. I know you're enjoying, right? So, thank you so much for your comments, questions, or any other type of feedback, right? We appreciate that. Así que, oh, thank you. That was it. Solo para eso nos quedamos okay. Okay. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, Thank you. Todo, solo para escucharnos, ok. Thank you so much. Nos vemos mañana entonces. See you next time. Nos vemos, se cuida. Okay, bye, bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. You too.